in this video I am going to discuss exponential growth problems with one unknown variable problem number two so in our problem number two or problem letter B we have a is equal to 1,240,000 our variable is equal to 8% per year or it's also equal to 0 0.08 then we have t years again the formula for the exponential growth problem is a is equal to p times e raised to the power of r t a is equal to p times e raised to the power of r t wherein a is our future population letter p is our current population e is Euler's variable and has an approximate value of 2.718 r is our rate and t is our time period okay so let's identify now what is the unknown variable so it's quite obvious that a is given r is given t is given so at this point of time obviously p our p here is unknown so let's look for the value of p okay so substitute the value of a that is 1,240,000 so 1,240,000 so copy the variable p copy the Euler's variable what is the value of R? That is 8% or 0 0.08. That's, let's enclose this one. And the value of T is 30 years. Okay. So, I think it's clear enough. So, let's move forward now. Okay. So, what's next? P times the value of this one e okay we are going to do first um to multiply the we will multiply first the exponent of e 0 0.08 times 30 is equal to 2.4 that is 2.4 so 2.4 one million two hundred forty thousand simply copy okay so let's find the value of a raised to the power of 2.4 using your calculator using your calculator you can find you can find the value of a raised to the power of 2.4 so The value of A raised to the power of 2.4 is 11.0232. To continue, we are just going to plug in the value of this one, which is this one, to the next process. We have P. Okay, plug in the value of this, which is 11.0232. So we have 1,240,000 in the left side of our equation. Okay. The next process is simply divide both sides by 11.0232. 11.0232 for us to eliminate this 11.0232 in the right side so that we can have p alone in the right side of our equation so 1,240,000 all over 11.0232 that's equal to 1,240,000 Okay, let's use the calculator. I'll show you this one. So the result is 2490. 
490.02.02 so this is the value of b so let's imagine that whatever population we're talking about whether it is the population of the bacteria and the population of human population we cannot have 0.2 or decimal person or bacteria that means to say we will eliminate the decimal numbers and round it off so the result here here is 11 1, 1, 2, 490 so this will be the value of our p so i think that's all for this video thank you for watching and listening